I suppose I came to motorsport fairly late. I started off in local uh, reporting, local newspapers, local radio, working on football in the winter and cricket in the summer. And it was only when I got to Anglia Television in the mid-70s that I got to work at the local race circuit, which was Snetterton. Great club racing circuit. A lot of Formula One drivers tested there. Barry Sheen raced there as well. You had Silverstone a couple of hours down the road. Uh, and just around the corner in Norwich, you had Lotus Formula One with perhaps the most charismatic team boss of all in Colin Chapman. Certainly the most famous and most impressive personality to be around Snetterton and the East Anglian circuits in the early 80s was Ayrton Senna. He came to this country from Brazil with ambitions like so many others to make it through Formula Ford and Formula 3. Uh, immediately you could recognize a wonderful talent behind the wheel, but an extraordinary personality away from the racing car, a magnetic personality to, to interview, a very satisfying one to interview, because whatever dopey question you asked him, he would answer it if it was the meaning of life itself and, and, and give the answer his absolute full attention. Great memories of working on the British Grand Prix uh, for BBC. It wasn't the hardest day's work. Uh, and once the race is on, you had very little to do. And I remember um, Jackie Stewart coming up when we were up at the top of the Shell Tower on one occasion uh, and pushing the young princes, William and Harry, through the curtain and asking me to babysit for the, uh, for the course of the entire race. There were uncomfortable experiences at product launches involving Jensen Button, Nigel Mansell, uh, maybe rather embarrassing stories to tell, but it was all part of the great um, mystique of Formula One. It all seems to be glitz and glamour on the, uh, on the surface. Behind the scenes, it's absolute chaos.